So really quickly, I just wanted to talk about Jordan Peterson. I'm sure you guys know who Jordan Peterson is. Uh, he's somebody who himself has said that he has found a way to monetize SJWs. And he has now grown this massive fan base that will white knight him all day long, all the time. And a lot of them actually enjoy that he made that comment, uh, not realizing what it actually means. Now, if you look at any video that is in opposition to Jordan Peterson in any way, shape, or form, it just gets a massive amount of dislikes. Now, I've made some videos on Jordan Peterson, and I think that it is important that people do not give a fuck. Because if you're just, if any criticism of somebody results in just massive disagreement, legitimately any criticism, uh, that, that just shows that it's essentially kind of a thoughtless cult where it just comes to defending Jordan Peterson. And now he's made some really r stupid remarks when it comes to makeup in the workplace recently that really doesn't sound much different from, you know, an imam or someone like that saying that, you know, women should wear scarves or, you know, not wear makeup because, you know, it makes guys attracted and shit like that. Uh, it really isn't much different from that in any way, shape, or form. And it's, you know, a very stupid thing to say, period. But I've, you know, read on Jordan Peterson subreddit, Jordan Peterson fans, just, they, they rationalize anything that he says. So, and then basically what I've noticed is they'll, I've read comments of Jordan Peterson fans saying that, legitimately saying that if you are in disagreement you just fail to understand or fail to comprehend or, or not or are not on the level of Jordan Peterson, which is basically setting you up in this situation where it's not winnable. You can't win. It's it's over. So, you know, Jordan Peterson has become really a phenomenon because nobody knew who the fuck Jordan Peterson was basically until 2016. And I'm pretty confident that at this point, he's either making a million dollars a year on Patreon or... If not a million, he's getting close. Because before he privated his Patreon, I think he was getting damn near $60,000 per month. And since he privated it, the number has already gone up. So, has gone up a bunch. So, I'm pretty sure he's a millionaire. The dude, he's essentially tries to act like this hero. And anybody who makes any criticism of him will get a ton of backlash. I'm sure this video will as well. But I don't give a fuck.